in this thing is the melanin oat. Yes, it is. Oh, baby girl, gotta get some gas. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing awesome. I am here to do another power review. I know, Miss P, you haven't done a power review in a minute. I know, child, I know. It's been a minute. Life happened. You know, as you can see, I'm just getting off of work. So, you know, you gotta get it in when you can. So, Woo! Last night's episode was crazy. Power has been crazy. Each and every episode, every single week, it's been something different and it just grabs your attention, catches your attention. And sidebar, so sorry about the extra, extra exposure and the sun being in and out, but you know, I just have it right here on this little tripod situation. So we just gonna roll with it. But either way, power has been a freaking amazing i have been loving it each week it's just been better and better so even though i haven't done a review for power for the last couple of episodes i have been watching can we just say rest in power heaven to proctor okay the way he went out like cleo and set it off ga, 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 ga. Huh. oh my god that episode was crazy and poor little elisa marie lord have mercy i was about to call it tina marie but poor little girl and put a little cash we gonna get into that uh momentarily but can we just say how this episode to me has been one of the craziest episodes that i've seen in the whole power i'm not gonna say the whole power franchise but i will say it made my eyebrow raise and i was just like i was on the edge of my seat like ah! so we'll get there in a second um this review isn't gonna be my normal play-by-play -play where i go through each and every scene this one we're just gonna talk about the big moments that were in this episode because baby i'm driving and when i'm driving i sound like miss millie from on the color purple i'm driving but when i'm driving i can't think of each and every detail okay so down below in the comment section i cannot wait to see your comments get it popping down below and something that i want to know though after this episode is this it like after next week or is this like a mid-season finale where they're gonna give us some extra i need to know this because i'm disturbed first of all i want to say even though we're gonna get into this later rest in power heaven to lakeisha now y'all know in real life i love me some lala anthony honey okay she be working it she's beautiful i love me some lala honey i've been loving lala since trl days okay in this episode i mean she could have carried that thing on home she could have been snot crying and the nose bubbling but that's not lala's character okay rest in power heaven the lala i'm sorry lakeisha and y'all know all season I've been saying Keisha gonna get got. Somebody gonna kill Keisha. Can somebody kill Keisha already? But when they killed her, when Tasha killed her, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready. I knew something was gonna happen when she went ahead and signed that little document for Rodriguez and Child Protective Services had a little cash in the back seat and he was trying to cry. Oh Lord. I said, yeah, she not gonna make it through the end of this episode. Cash gonna make it, but she ain't gonna make it. Either who. Then when Tommy came over and he was like, look at here, like who you been talking to? And she was like, nobody, keep sweat, nobody. And he was like, okay, okay, don't do me. And she was like, I'm not gonna do that. what you did to holly and i didn't want to be got like holly and he was like baby i'm a changed man changed so much that he went ahead and got baby girl a ring he wanted a happily ever after case okay he wanted to let's get married jagged edge okay <sighs> it was so sad then tasha comes over because ghost called and he was like look a here baby boo um, I can't get across to Lakeisha because she's scared of me. You need to go over there and fix this because they're going to open up the Ray Ray case. Yet again, she know everything about Tariq. You need to talk to her. Tasha goes over there. Baby, she had on her ghost attire. The ghost, I'm going to shoot somebody and kill attire. Honey, when I tell you, at first, Tasha didn't want to kill Lakeisha. Baby girl, I can't let you go. We're just going to wait for Tommy. You know what? La la. Sorry, Lakeisha could have got out of this if she wouldn't have just looked over at her Louis bag and knew she had a gun in there. Tasha was even like, what the hell's in that bag? Then they start fighting. I said, that they fighting in the club. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Then Tasha shot her in a titty because they were, you know, arguing, not arguing, but wrestling over the, um, over the gun. And child just a swerving. It is because I'm so amped up. Tasha shot her in the titty. I was like, oh. And then after that, Tasha's, I mean, Keisha is laying down. She's like, no, no, what about Cash? I'm not going to say anything. Just let me live. And you can see in Tasha's eyes that she wanted to let her live. She was like, God, ah, uh, nope. 
You got snitch tendencies, bitch. You been lying, bitch. You done crossed over, bitch. I'm sorry. Pop, pop. I said, ah! And there was like, I'm sorry, turn your, um, if you have headphones in, please turn those down. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. And then, I mean, baby girl was dead. She, it was dead. It was like the perfect set it off. Um, y'all remember when Cleo got got? Or y'all remember when, um, Vivica Fox says, what is the procedure when there is a gun to your head? And then she tried to run off like they weren't gonna kill her. Actually, this one was kind of like, um, when T.T. died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When um, Jada was talking about a banana flip and she was rocking her, went on the dad with her eyes open. I said, oh God. But this was so set it offy to me. But either way, I mean, la la, oh Lord, that just had me. I was like, <gasps> and then when Tommy came back with cash, had the ring, and then he looked and he saw that the door was slightly ajar. And he was like, oh shit, something happened. He comes up to her. He sees that she like dead, dead, no pulse. That thug tear come out. I was like, ah. Uh, it was it was so sad it was so fucking sad can we talk about councilman tate versus ghost honey oh i knew some shit was gonna hit the fan with councilman tate even though i love me some lorenz tate but his character i can't stand his ass i knew something was gonna happen with him i mean come on they mic him up they pay off the sound dude come on councilman tate you can't be that damn gullible but the funny thing those type of manipulative type of people they least expect when some shit is gonna happen to them. Ghost, can we just say how much I love Ghost's beard? He was looking so lickety on the episode, honey. I was like, oh, oh my God, you looking so scrum, scrum diddly I'm just, I'm still rooting for Ghost no matter what. Still rooting for him and I'm still rooting for Tommy even though, you know, the Keisha gone. He gonna need somebody to hold him. Oh man, the Queen's Child Project, done. Sorry, ghost. I mean, you can't just fuck somebody and expect them not to at least kind of semi-fuck you back. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about sex. For real, for real. Um, I cannot stand his character at all. That's some good-ass acting because I cannot stand him, all right? But he is needed in this show, especially in these last couple episodes. I'm so glad that they fired his ass. And now, he at rock bottom. He's sitting here like, I don't know what else the hell to do. I'm glad they didn't kill him, but I'm glad that Ghost and Tommy scared his ass, okay? And I love the interaction between Ghost and Tommy because we haven't seen that in a long time. Both of them, you know, working together for the greater good of killing people, <laughs> you know? Did y'all peep Keisha, who used to work with Sack? She got Got a new little power suit, some new hair. Okay, girl, we see you going up. And now he need counsel from you. Ain't that a bit? Okay, Tariq. I feel like every single episode, I just want to thump Tariq in the throat. I will admit, this episode, I didn't want to thump him as hard. I still wanted to thump him because I'm sitting here like, you want to use one of your teachers as the new go, go get it, man. Are you serious? And Tasha, you allowed this? But I guess in the drug world, I mean, you have to use something that people aren't really going to think about. So why not? At least Tariq and his mama are on the same page. But it's a damn shame that they on the same page when it come to selling the drugs and being in the game. Anyway, but um, him and Ghost ain't never going to be on the same page no more. I do not feel that in my spirit. And honey, I don't trust that teacher. I don't trust it. Let's talk about Rodriguez, how she is putting all of these magical pieces together. I can't, I don't like her character either, but I love the fact that she's putting these pieces together and she's figuring this shit out and she's getting closer and closer and closer. <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with her. I do. Ooh, yikes. The Ray Ray case is coming back. No case is ever closed, honey. Remember that. No case is ever fully closed. Those were the big parts of this episode. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what were your thoughts about this episode? What did you think about Lakeisha? Did you know, did you for real, for real know that Tasha was gonna kill her? Like, before you even saw the whole episode, did you, th who did you think was for real, for real gonna be the killer. Now, granted, I didn't really think that Tommy was gonna be Lakeisha's killer just because he killed Holly. Like, that would be so da 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 I don't know. I really, I honestly thought it would have been Ghost to Tariq. I know. I just wanted to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake up. That's what I wanted to do. I never thought that it would be Tasha. Did not think that. But down below in the comment section, I would love to know, what were your thoughts about this episode? What do you think is going to happen coming up? How do you think this is going to close? Because, baby, they are dropping like dumb news, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just really appreciate y'all watching. I love your comments down below. Like, they, I mean, some are freaking hysterical, and some make me go, child, I ain't never think about that. Y'all be using this brain up here, honey. Thank y'all again, again, again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And my birthday 
was two weeks ago but thank y'all so much for giving me so much love on social media instagram facebook emails i just appreciate it y'all hitting baby girls cash app thank you and if you want to hit my cash app i i appreciate it you know i'll put my information down below it's actually the little um dollar sign miss ptv you know what i'm saying i appreciate it but thank y'all so much for the love i genuinely appreciate it y'all are just amazing but i will see y'all on the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye